All right, I'm outside the Baynard House. It's an historical house in Auburndale, Florida. I've actually filmed here a few times, inside and out. I'm not sure if I ever did a full walkthrough of this place outside. I want to show you still some of the damage. Real shame with some of these trees. Doesn't look like they're too bad, mainly just the uh, limbs. Some of these trees could have been here when the Baynard family was still around. You can do a walk around the house. Looks like they moved the um, two chairs they usually have in the front porch. Do a walk around with you and show you. Definitely gotta be careful when you're stepping. You never know if any of these limbs are cracked now. They're probably gonna have to inspect that. Might not look as much bad as it is the camera as it really is, but it's it's worse than what it looks. It's not as bad as it could be. I know that. There's some more um, over there. There's some more fallen wire. You might not be able to see it. But it's dangling. See right there in the middle of the screen. Do a walk around, then I'll go onto the porch. Actually, I might go on the porch in a second. First, see a lot of big mess. Good to see that dog's okay. Right there in the middle of the screen. I've seen him there before when I visited the Baynard house. Yeah, there's an electrical wire. Yeah, this sidewalk is definitely has a big mess on it. I think I'll go onto the porch around there. I don't wanna I might trip. But I'll show you closer in a second. Let's go onto the porch, see if there's any damage around there. Like I said, they've been doing some renovating. This door has been blocked off for a while. And right here, this sign right that it's normally here and they got totally blown off. But that's minor damage, so it's not too bad. I think I got quite a mess to clean up. So far, other than that sign, and the debris, and you look on the wall here, it's all stuff from plants that got blown up against it. Other than the debris and that sign being knocked off, I don't see too much damage. Uh, see that white thing down there? I think that's part of the um, railing for the porch somewhere. So, so far, some minor things, which is good. Because historic places like this are important. Yeah, look at that, big mess. Bigger tree limb fell on that one um, fence. Knocked it down, part of it. I'll go down there. If you're in the Auburndale area, you should check this out. Sometimes they have it for open house, and you, I've heard you can get tours when they're not open for open house. Look at this, this has been bent.
Yeah, it's been damaged. I actually tried to get a private tour here, even though they're supposed to offer them, but they're hard to get. They don't really want to do it, even though they have it available. So I had to get one and do a more private tour so I could film this place better. But that's going to be a while now. Actually, until they clean this up and finish whatever renovating they got to do. Show you with this bigger tree limb. Try to show you the side. See, there's a lot of branches around. Gotta be careful when you're walking out here. And you know, you can definitely tell this place feels more open. That's because there's not as many tree limbs as there was. And it definitely feels more open. A lot of tree, tree limbs are down, and a lot of uh, leaves. Been blown off. There's also tornado warnings and two around this area there was. One fortunate thing about tornadoes with regard when they happen with hurricanes, some meteorologists on TV said that they don't last too long. It's like a little damage at this, uh, what is it, a gazebo I think you call it, something like that. There normally is a sign here that's attached to it. The sign in the chain is, I don't see it, so, unless the city took it down. Show you over here then. As far as this thing didn't fall out, this is some sort of basically big plant attached to a chain to this um, limb. I'm not going to stay under this tree very long because you never know with these limbs how um, damaged or weakened they have been. There's still a lot of places without power. Oh, look, one of the street lights. I got to be careful, there's a wire here dangling from that pole. I don't know if you can see it that well. Here's one part of the, one of the street lights around here. And that, that one's definitely toast. It's cracked. And here's part of the sign or roofing or something. Over there, uh, it's a funeral home now. I think it's called Kersey Funeral Home or something like that. That is the second house that the Baynard family lived at. The Baynard house behind me was the first house, and I guess he wasn't happy with it because it's too small. I agree. I've been, like I said, I've been in there. It is a small place, and the uh, funeral home is definitely um, well. It's a funeral home now. It's definitely bigger. All right, I'm gonna continue with my walk through a little bit more of the Maynard house. And I'll get back in the uh, the car, the beast as I call it. That's the nickname for the, um, the limousine that the President of the United States used. From right here it's nicknamed the beast. So this is like a, basically like a tank. So I nicknamed my car the beast too because this is the presidential tourist channel, huh? Yeah, I see some more debris over there. There's some more. 
these signs really held up good. Here's some more debris. I'm not sure if this is from the Baynard house or from somewhere else. It looks like it could be from the roof. Because they do have a metal roof. I feel like a siren going off. Oh no. I think it's more like a motorcycle. There's another part. Try to show you as much of this as I can. Again, this is um, September 11th. It's now almost 4.05 in the afternoon. Try to take a walk down here. It's got to be careful because there's a lot of um, debris from the trees. Luckily, none of them majorly fell, so they'll survive, which is good because it takes a long time for these trees to grow. And like I said, they could be they could have been here when the Baynard family was still living here. You never know. Probably one of the fence tops. Gotta be careful where I walk. Whoops. Gotta be careful my hat don't blow away. It's really hard to see this place like this because, like I said, I've been here a few times and I always enjoyed it. I like touring historical houses and museums. As you can probably tell if you've been watching my channel for a long time. There's a lot of that stuff on there. If you want to see what this place looks like before the storm, uh, check it out. But I'm not sure if I ever filmed a walkthrough like this of the outside as extensively as I'm doing now. Yeah, part of another wire over that pole. Wire down. Okay. I don't know how well you can see me because I don't have a uh, screen, a forward facing screen on this camera. Like I said, the other one I mentioned in my other video, Barry died on me, it doesn't last too long. It's my fault. I've been procrastinating and get another one off because it's expensive. I almost rather buy another camera, a better one. But anyways, this is a walkthrough of, uh, outside of the Baynard House showing you some of the damage. Um, I've been filming some um, driving around today, the Auburndale and Winter Haven area. Don't know if I'll go to other cities or not, it depends. Uh, just gotta be careful out there. There's still a lot of street, um, uh, you know, the signal lights are out still, and a lot of places still without power. And during a um, time like this, there's a lot of anxious people out there, and you gotta be careful because you gotta worry about their driving if they're upset. You know, everything that's going on. I'll try to do as much film as I can to show you some of the effects <coughs> of. This area of Central Florida from Hurricane Irma. But um, so far it's not too bad except that one trailer court that I filmed earlier. That had probably the most damage. And for the most part, let me flip you back around. The Baynard House seemed to be um, doing pretty good. It's mainly just trees. Some damage to some, some of the fencing, but and a little bit to the one. Uh, Metal part of the outside door. Of course, I showed you that sign that was ripped off. That's part of some program for like the great, greatest 100 or 200 Floridians throughout history, something like that. I don't know how it goes. I've seen them around before. But other than that, the Baynard House has held up. Just mainly um, a lot of tree debris and plant debris. <laughs> Things that got ripped up. Show you just a little bit more of the. I guess this, I'm not sure this would be considered the front yard, 
or by where I was is considered the front yard. It's definitely a mess. But luckily nothing too major. Probably this uh, fence has really took the biggest blow. Gotta be careful, like I said, easily trip. I don't actually like being under trees for now because you never know how sturdy they are at the moment. Yeah, I think this this must be really heavy. Oh, yeah, I could barely lift that at all. I might be surprised that thing weighs more than I do, and I'm sort of a hefty, hefty boy. Too many cheeseburgers and pizzas, I guess, and tacos. Okay. There's more part of um, some sort of roof or something over there. I'm not sure if it came in the Baynard house or not. All right, this is going to be it for show you the damage around the Baynard house. Try to do some other filming around in the area. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I always look forward to your questions, and I appreciate you watching. And please, everybody, um, send some positive thoughts his way having to do with Hurricane Irma and of course to Texas Louisiana for Hurricane Harvey and for uh, what for 9-11 what happened up in New York I can't believe it's been what 16 years jeez seems like yesterday almost makes me feel old but please keep, um, keep positive thoughts all these three these three things and prayers too if you're into that all right thanks again for watching bye